includes heat. Time now for a check of your forecast with meteorologist Michelle Kennedy. Things are really starting to brew out there. Yeah, in fact, they are brewing pretty good for us right now. At the moment, we've got those shower and thunderstorm chances beginning to pop up. And with the pop up thunderstorms, you're seeing some of the thunderstorms becoming more active in a few spots over the northern Piedmont, especially. And that does bring us a chance for some isolated severe threats as we go into the next few hours. We've got 60s on the way for you later this evening. Let's go ahead and show you what we've got going on. We've got a front that's back to the west. that's starting to kind of disappear, just fade. And then we've got that energy aloft, too, and another front sweeping in from the north and west. So so a little bit of action moving in from the south and west too, tapping into that warm west southwest wind today. We have been in the 80s. Now we look ahead through the overnight hours as the scattered showers and thunderstorms start to wind down. But we'll back you up here a little bit more. You can see those showers and thunderstorms become more active between now and heading into midnight. Then around 1, 2 a.m. those showers spread east and heavier downpours are going to fill in along the coast out through the beaches. And for us, we just simply deal with wind and some clouds off and on with a slight chance of showers getting you into the weekend. And otherwise, your Thursday is absolutely beautiful. We've got some sunshine and we've got some 60s out there to near 70. So cooler than where we've been by some 10 to 15 degrees, respectively. You've got showers and thunderstorms right now with that area of marginal risk concern back to the west now. So that has been shifted since earlier today, even from noontime. We have areas of Danbury, Walnut Cove. Winston-Salem, Kernersville, and now down through areas of Thomasville and High Point included in this, and out through Ashboro Liberty area, all the way through Burlington and Yanceyville. So it covers most of the triad, but eastern parts of it. And we're expecting to see the risk area for damaging wind gusts, a possibility that one or two could also bring some small to large size hail. Look at this from Blackberry through Dillon's Fork. You're expecting this near the five o'clock hour, about 507 for horse pasture, chestnut knob. This storm is moving out of Patrick County. So bringing with it some very heavy downpours, also the possibility of some small hail with these thunderstorms tonight. So far, what we've seen is just a little bit of lightning trying to get things going. So it's not the intensity that we expect to see later. That should be picking up in intensity. Overnight, though, we start to drop you down and clear you out. We've got rain chances that may linger through about 5, 6 a.m., clearing out through 7 a.m., and you're windy with highs in the upper 60s. Gusts could be as high as 20, 25 miles an hour from the foothills up into the mountains. And notice there in the foothills, Mount Airy, East Bend, near 67. 69 in the triad, though, and we've got the windy weather staying with us all the way through the mountains. I guess there could be a little higher along the mountain ridges. No advisories, though, right now for that. So another closer look at the hour by hour forecast taking you through the next several hours. We start to really wind things down once we get you through late evening. We'll back it up even more for you. Taking a look at now through six o'clock, showers begin to spread in. That's what, exactly what we're seeing. Those thunderstorms look to blow up a little bit farther to the east. Can't rule out one or two in the tri, but through about midnight, the threat is going to be with us all the way out through Raleigh, Cary area, and that looks to be the better zone for more development, but can't rule out one or two here with scattered showers and storms that could bring in some of those gusty winds, taking down some tree branches and hopefully some of those catkins, you know, those yellow pieces that you see piling up near the driveways. That's all the pollen coming down from those oak trees. Yeah, something else to see. 60s and one windy for us. Unfortunately, the pollen will probably be back pretty quickly for us, but at least it's washed out for a day or so. Next 12 hours, we've got the showers and thunderstorms with that isolated severe risk. And we're in the upper 60s the next two days. Very similar temperatures through your Thursday and Friday and the breezy weather as winds back off on Friday. Shower chances look minimal going into Saturday and Sunday, but can't rule out one or two passing showers. And we've got some clouds off and on. Overall, your rain chances are low. And so impact days not expected over the next seven. We've got 70s returning into next week. You're looking good.